Okay, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us either in person here in the Conan Room or virtually across the ether um, for this forum, which is part of the University Library's contribution to the 2013 Open Access Week celebrated here at Carnegie Mellon University. I'm Keith Webster, Dean of University Libraries, and I was going to be the MC and introduce each speaker in turn, but the practicalities of one lapel mic which we need to broadcast sound to our virtual participants means that it's going to be more sensible to have each speaker introduce themselves and pass the microphone and the virtual baton on to the next speaker in turn. Uh, open access has been around for a number of years now, but over the last 12 to 18 months, political developments are such that um, we are seeing more and more interest in open access opportunities. We have governments introducing mandates in the UK, coming in the EU, certainly coming in the United States. We've got a range of open access journals gaining considerable attention. The PLOS suite of journals, which we'll hear about in a moment, is becoming one of the largest publishers on the planet. We see open learning initiatives, drives towards open data, open everything. Open scholarship is a great catch-all term. Rather than have any one speaker stand up and talk for an hour on the topics at hand, we thought it would be more useful and interesting if we drew together a group of colleagues from around campus to talk about their experiences, their views, their opinions on a particular aspect of open access. And our first speaker is David Cresswell from Psychology, who is going to talk kind of ad lib off the cuff about his experiences, particularly in relation to PLOS One. Um, David will take questions at the end of his remarks because he has to dash off to another appointment. But I think to keep the momentum going, we'll maintain the questions till the end of the, the session. 